for several years now, David Berkowitz has claimed that the Son of Sam murders were the result of his um, participation in a satanic cult. He was one of the murderers, but there were several of them in this cult he supposedly belonged to. Um, um, people who have con who have confessed to the McDonald murders, for which Jeffrey McDonald, the husband and father, is currently in prison, have said they were members of a satanic cult. Okay. Now, that might... I tend to go along with the thesis in Debbie Nathan's Satan's, Satan's Silence that um, the amount of uh, satanic activity, particularly organized satanic activity, has been exaggerated. There just really isn't that much of it. Now, there were, were the metamor Matamoros uh, crimes, which did involve uh, Satan worship. But in general, it's kind of um, too easy to see a satanic cult as a kind of um, corporate boogie, boogie man, boogie woman. And, you know, so I do think that maybe it really shouldn't be our uh, default mode for even a weirdo crime. And that really there probably isn't a whole lot of unknown satanic activity that people are, you know, missing. Um, I do think that, you know, disturbed people might believe they are getting messages from Satan. Um, serial murder Richard Ramirez is an example of a devil worshiper who was, um, you know, who actually committed crimes. And I've always re mentioned Madame, Madame Moros. But um, it's kind of too easy um, for people to kind of fantasize an organ, uh, you know, an, an underground of, um, you know, um, of uh, satanic cultists involved in all kinds of nasty occurrences. Um, you know, so, you know, I, I do think that uh, it's been exaggerated and that it's really not something that, as a culture, we really need to fear because it's just not that common. Now, crimes, sex crimes are certainly very common, including sex crimes against children. But I think the idea of an organized satanic underground promoting such crimes is very unlikely. Just my thoughts.